Shalom, this is Rabbi Yehuda Glick from Shalom Jerusalem Foundation in Jerusalem. We're still in the midst of this coronavirus crisis. In our first lesson, we spoke a little bit about the concept of not taking things for granted, knowing to praise God and thank God for everything we have. We spoke about the importance of prayer, and we spoke about understanding, studying the Word of God, and most important, not forgetting those who are alone, those who are the forgotten, the transparent, those that are home alone, confronted with these challenges by themselves. And I think that was a very important message. Today I want to go one step ahead as we are getting close to the uh, Passover holiday, just a few weeks ahead of us. And I want to look at the coronavirus in a new aspect. In the book of uh, Exodus, as you all know, where the people of Israel are slaves in Egypt, uh, all the way from chapter 7, uh, going on till chapter 12, we read about the plagues. The plagues that God brings upon Egypt. If we look carefully, we'll see that again and again, God says there's a purpose, there's an essence, there's a significance for the plagues. And what is the significance of the plagues? God says, I want the Egyptians to know and recognize the one and only God. For instance, in chapter 10, Go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his courtiers in order that I will display these my signs amongst them, and that you may recount in the hearing of your sons and your sons' children how I made a mockery of the Egyptians and how I displayed my signs among them. But here we're talking about the people of Israel. But the, but the idea is not only for the people of Israel. The idea is for the people of Egypt as well. Already in the first plague, in the blood, um, for chapter 7, verse, 7, verse 17, thus says God, by this you shall know that I am Hashem. This is so that you shall know. And it, 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 it repeats itself several times in the uh, studies of the, of, of the plagues in Egypt. That they are made there. That the people of Egypt should know. We're going through a coronavirus. We're all isolated. And there's no differentiation. Whether you're in Iran or in China or in Italy or in Spain. People are all attacked, challenged by this virus. And the, one of the major things I think God is teaching us when he brings plagues to the world, guys, it's not every one of the nations on our own. We're all united. We're all confronted. And if we all unite and try to find that medication, and that medication will serve and will save Muslims in Iran or idol worshippers in China, or Christians in Spain or in Italy, or Jews in Israel. The, the vaccine that we're going to try to find, a present from God, will bring the healing for all the people. God wants us to remember. The plagues are from Him. The plagues are for us to unite and remember and know, know God. That's our, that's our job. The plagues God brings in the world for us to remember. So once again, remembering God. We spoke about praying to God. We spoke about recognizing and not forgetting the transparent and those who are forgotten. We spoke about understanding and not taking things for granted. We are to connect and unite with the one and only God. Shalom from Jerusalem.